there, welcome to my channel. My name is Amira Hall. I am a spirit medium and a healer, and I'm here to help you raise your vibration, tune into your intuition, and manifest a life you love. Today, I'm really excited to bring to you my message, my channel message from Spirit um, for the mid month of October. Just after our full moon, boy, things are rocking and rolling. I'm feeling the real big push of energy, feeling really inspired and creative. At the same time, it feels like, you know, time is running out, so there's a big nudge. You know, in looking deeper as I'm asking Spirit, you know, what is the message for you for this mid-month, they showed me a daffodil. And as I was looking at that, you know, daffodils are spring flowers, and it's certainly not the spring here in North America. So, you know, I, I was raised in Canada where the daffodils pop up in, after the winter in the spring. And the weather's still a bit cool. And in looking at this and asking Spirit, you know, what is it that you're trying to tell us? And the message I got was like new birth or a transformation, a resurrection. It's also usually they come up around the Easter time, early spring. So the yellow, the beautiful bright yellow was inspiring and motivating. And it's also representative to me, you know, the bulb changes sprouts and pushes its head above the ground kind of like a cocoon or a butterfly in the cocoon and so i was thinking about that in terms of our transformation and what's going on for us is we're being pushed out of a comfort zone and being pushed into perhaps an area or a new version of ourself that's trying to express itself so we're being nudged to express ourselves in new ways, being forced down a new direction or in on a new path. And while I was looking at that daffodil, I was having this intense sharp pain in my chest. And I was like, I know that's not my physical energy. So I looked at that and what Spirit was telling me was, there's, a, there's some of you out there, maybe not all, but some of you are not listening to your heart of hearts. Some of you are being nudged to take some steps or to take, expand on a new direction, but you're not, you're maybe hesitating. And there's others of you I know that are launching into a whole new expression. Perhaps it's new work, perhaps it's a new way of eating or exercising, or even listening to your heart, listening to your own little voice. Yes, we're being nudged to you know, change some old patterns and to really leave behind some version of ourself that's no longer working. And I made some notes here so I could remember it all. There's just a stronger pull to connect with your heart of hearts. Like what is it that you really want? What is it that you really want to do? And what is it that you're not doing? that you need to pay attention. You know, where are you investing your time and your energy? What types of people or persons are you um, being influenced by and uh, that are affecting you? And maybe it is somewhat unconsciously, but you know, there's a creative passion and a push for us to be more creative and expressive in, in whatever ways. I know I've been feeling like a crazy woman here painting my you know, the nights away there is a louder version of yourself that wants to be expressed in a new way so we're being challenged to try something different and i've been it seems like that's a broken record i've been saying that for a few months now you know what dramas or fears or perhaps it's even gossip that's just eating up your time and your energy field and also spirit is reminding me that we need to pay attention to our dreams and you know some of you are connecting with your loved ones from the other side some of you are getting messages that are quite profound myself my dreams have just been in super high definition technicolor and um and you know, like last night, I dreamt that I was in an, in an an ancient university, and I was learning some new creative ways to create things that never existed yet. 
So the couple nights before that, I dreamt that I was at a large gathering of family and friends <laughs> and I was hovering and flying around everybody and showing them how, showing off actually, showing how incredible I was and adept I was and how masterful I was. It's kind of funny, but I have that dream. It's, it's recurring a lot. So pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to the messages. There's a lot of signs and symbols showing up too in your world. So notice that when you see the same number repeatedly, you know, three times in three days, that's something to pay attention to. And some people are even mentioning to me that they're connecting with beings or entities, maybe even aliens. So don't be surprised if you start seeing things that you haven't seen before. And what's happening is the, the veil is becoming thinner. And what that means is our, there's a blur between the 3D world and the 4D world and the, maybe the 5D realm. So there's, we're connecting into these different dimensions and realities that do exist. You just haven't seen them or been aware of them. There's no question in my mind that this is a time to trust your intuition and to let go of that doubt. I know that stepping through this doorway that seems to be opening for so many of us is that, you know, we have to leave behind, you know, old versions of ourselves or old patterns or, or people and relationships. And stepping into the great unknown where you don't know how things are going to work out, that can be pretty scary. But you know, spirit is saying, don't look back and don't go back. And to step forward, know that they're there to help us and that you will be guided exactly to where you need to go. The, the, my guides are saying that the daffodil represents new growth, new versions of yourself, new versions of reality perhaps that you didn't consider, that maybe, maybe your perspective on on your relationships or how you see yourself in the world is completely shifting and you get these ahas that you're like, whoa, that that is so different. And it's almost as if, you know, you had blurry or smudged glasses and then you took the glasses off or you cleaned them and all of a sudden your vision and the way you see things is so much sharper and clearer. You know, the spirit is reminding us that this is a very big, moment in time for us to let go of what no longer is serving us and it this is a pivotal time period over the next few months um, where it's almost like some magic transformation things are shifting in such a big way it's like oh yeah okay I know Christmas is coming but your Christmas, your surprises, and the gifts that you will be receiving in terms of your spiritual abilities or awareness or insights or perception, those gifts are ready to, to come in, but we've got to do our homework. We have to be able to be able to let go of the things that are holding us stuck in that old mold. I know that rhymes. Okay, I'm back. I have, I'm telling you, putting this video together today has been quite a feat. Um, the, the energies are challenging. There's no question there's a Mercury retrograde coming up. And woo wee So here we go. I've uh, pulled a card for you today for the Soul Wisdom cards. Um, and, you know, this is pretty cool, actually. You know, what first got my attention here is this, this slender, beautiful woman you know, shyly looking behind her. And she, you know, I feel like she's out of her comfort zone. She's feeling a little insecure or feeling exposed or making a shift that feels awkward. You know, I'm looking at the guitar and I, I'm reminded that Spirit's saying, you know, you have to strum to your own tune. You have to listen to your heart of hearts. This is a time to recognize that there's some creative juices flowing. And maybe it's just listening to music if that's, you know, what you're drawn to. Those oranges in the front remind me, again, there's that yellow, that beautiful daffodil yellow, but even though that's supposed to be an orange, um, how the juiciness of our creativity and our spirit and, and this rising up, you know, in the sweetness of where that's taking us, really delicious. And this bust that's suspended in the, above the house is almost like, you know, we could say, you know, spirit from the other side of the veil or loved ones that are looking down on us. 
um, parts of ourself, our higher self that's inspiring us, feeding us new ideas and information that want to come in. And perhaps it's just the veil is thinning and our, world, our awareness of that unseen world is becoming clearer and more dominant. I'm also uh, liking this cup of mocha or hot chocolate suspended in the sky. I really feel that spirit is indulging us with so much sweetness that it's time for us to just sit and take a moment to really receive it and enjoy it and validate ourselves being on this journey that is just opening up into realms and ways that we could have possibly never perceived. And now, you know, a spirit on the note of staying in the flow and being creative, and I mentioned that I've been painting hours away here, and I want to share with you this painting um, that really speaks a lot to what we're going through, at least to me. It's one of my favorite paintings, and what I notice here is, I'm going to put it up on the screen for you. What I really am learning, you know, is that I'm learning new parts of myself that I didn't know existed. And we're all being nudged to express a deeper part of ourself and to, to show up in a new way, perhaps. And even showing you my artwork, even though I feel like I'm channeling it most of the time and spirit is moving me, in a way I feel detached from it, so I'm not as... Um, fearful of let's say putting my art out on my sleeve for you or my soul because it is more channeled uh, you know expression but what really draws me on this painting is the connection to the core or to spirit that's infusing us what feels like um, it feels like this this whole sort of tornado or this whirling of energy or clouds or or from above we're receiving new ideas and thoughts and inspiration and being forced into this new light version of ourselves. Again, the yellow and the orange are really uplifting. It, it gives me the idea that there's hope and there, the hope is rising as we're being, um, ex, you know, the, the sense of who we are and our world is expanding or our, and, and the way we know ourself is stretching or expanding as we stretch into a whole new version of ourself. And the, and the most important part here is coming into alignment with the heart of hearts. You know, what's in, what is your purpose? And if you don't know your purpose, you know, what is your heart calling you for? What is it that you have forgotten or, or dismissed from when you were a small child? You know, I've been an artist, I think, since I was a small girl. And of course, you know, we probably all heard, well, you can't make any money or you can't, you know, make a living being an artist. And it was just never encouraged. And nor did I have very, you know, artistic family. So it wasn't encouraged. And I'm sure that there's something in your life that has been sort of put on the back burner or dismissed or not acknowledged for so many years. Now, I'm not suggesting that you have to go out and make a living doing it, but it's calling you to revisit it and to express yourself with perhaps things that you've long forgotten. The crayons are in the box, you know? So with that, I really hope that it, you're inspired to take some steps and I am appreciative of all your comments and those of you who shared with me that you're too being inspired with my artwork and, and these messages. And so if this message resonates with you, thanks so much for giving it a thumbs up and sharing it or uh, leaving your comments because that raises or shifts the algorithm so YouTube shares it with more people. I really appreciate you coming and sharing this time with me. And the link for private sessions is in the description below and also the link to my artwork and also the quantum energy tools which will be so helpful to you in moving forward through these energies and through these transitions. So with that said, many blessings to you until my next video. I hope you have a magical, magical month of October.
and ultimately we became spirit sisters. And then, I think it was about a year into our sisterhood, I was fortunate enough to experience energy coding with you. This is a day I will never, ever forget. And I, I'll never forget it. I had just finished a walk with a, with a client of mine down Torrey Pines. I sat in my car, watched the waves dance, pulled my windows down, sat back, relaxed. And then I waited for a 9 a.m. call. And I, I remember thinking to at 44 years of age that everything, everything is possible. I just sat back, I listened, and you started your session. And you just shared the most uncanny messages. Information that no one else knew about in my life, on current intentions that I was practicing. And then you delivered a life-altering vision. And I, I don't know if you remember this, Amara, but you were in a trance, and your words had created this motion picture. It literally shuddered my entire body. You said, Monica, you are wrapping your mother up like a mummy. I wasn't only viewing this movie, but I literally felt it throughout my entire body. I felt myself binding my mother, and instantly, in that moment, I knew I wanted to be a different person. And I felt, I, I don't know what you did, but I felt the energy shift through my entire body. I felt everything tingle in my body. And in that moment, all the judgments I had about my mom literally disintegrated. And I remember, too, after that session, I have a 30-minute drive home, and I tears rolling down my cheeks. I called my mom, and I apologized to her. And I shared everything I could remember about our session together. And my mom started to cry, and she said, you know, Monica, I, I would love, love to speak with you. So I gave her a session uh, for her birthday. And after my mom's session with you, Amira, it was about two weeks later, my Aunt Mary called me, and she said, Monica, your mom is such a different person. She thinks differently. She speaks differently. She's filled with pure joy. Do you think Amira could help my friend who just tried to commit suicide? How can I thank her? And today, a year later, my mom and my 15-year-old brother live with me. Our home is one of total harmony. And every day, I, I'm in gratitude for your energy clearing. And I didn't get either that what was happening was a law of attraction. I kept asking the universe, why is my mother sick? Why can't we get along? Why can't we communicate? And the universe kept sending me the reasons and the answers to those questions. Why she was sick. Why we couldn't communicate. So now, I, after our session and after that clearing, I, every day I say, thank you. Thank you for a beautiful, healthy, loving mom, the opportunity to be in her presence. And Mary, I called you on Christmas morning to thank you for our beautiful relationship.